Good morning, my lovelies. Welcome back to another vlog. I don't know what vlog this is. I don't know how to name it. I wanted to name it. Let me just explain to you what you're doing in the vlog other than eating <laughs> crepes and my favorite juice. So let me just tell you problems that I've been having in this house. What I've noticed, we have a roach problem. Yep. The cockroaches are taking over my house. <laughs> and that's one of the main reasons why I haven't really fully unpacked. Because I was like, yo, yo, yo. Hey, I need to fumigate this house because what? So... I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's uh, the mosque. The guy's calling the guys to go uh, pray. It's that time. So I live in Malindi Central. That means I live close to everything. Close to a mosque, close to a church, close to the airport, close to, uh, here they call it town. So where I'm where oasis mall is so it has so much activity it is a very you know if you for me if moving to a place where i don't know the location i don't know it okay i've been to malindi a couple of times but i'm not really familiar with the place like deeply so i wanted to move somewhere i can like navigate easily even by walking yeah so i've been walking around familiarizing my place myself with this place so now i kind of know the ins and outs how to move how to navigate yeah so if i want to set up send a parcel to nairobi i know how to do it if i need to go to the market yeah anyway so that's besides the point the point of this video is to tell you what apartment upgrades i want to do yeah so there's a fundi supposed to come in and put for me cutting rods. I don't know if I showed you, my closet doesn't have the rods for hanging clothes. So I want uh, the fundi to come in and put their rods. And then on, on both closets. And then um, fumigation. So fumigation, I realize this house has a cockroach problem and also spider problem so there are webs 
and I don't want that. And then uh, to little little aunt, aunt, but the aunts are not so much. Yeah, but so they're still there. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't unpacked. I don't want to fully unpack and then realize that roaches are entering other places, which are oh, roach, roaches annoy me. So the good thing is when I was uh, buying my gas, I just ran into this guy who was hawking the dowers for cockroaches. And then I was like, yo, let me get that. It's already in a spray bottle. It was around 250, I think. So I want to plan is the plan is to move everything to the center of the room, spray all around the room. Let it stay for around 24 hours. I don't know if I'm going to spray it at night and sleep overnight and then wake up in the morning to clean. And then, yeah, so hopefully we'll have dealt with the pests problem. And then uh, the last thing I want to do is to grout. So I want to grout the kitchen and the bathroom. Because I noticed, if you notice the grout in the kitchen and uh, in the bathroom, they are gray. And that makes it look dirty, especially on camera. So I don't want my kitchen to look dirty because it's not dirty. <laughs> but it doesn't look good on camera. So I want to go get grout, white grout. Come and grout my the, the spaces in between the tiles. And we see how it will turn out. Shower. But those are apartment upgrades that I need to be done. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I want to paint the the closets and the kitchen cabinets because they don't look fresh and I want them to look fresh. They might look fresh on camera, but in person they are not as fresh. Okay. Since I have paint, uh, water paint, it's not oil based paint. Why not do it? So I'll see. So after fumigating, cleaning, and then grouting, and then painting, whoa, I'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but yeah. Hey, what is this? <laughs> anyway, so when I eat, I take out the waist trainer. I can see it hanging over there. I don't eat with the waist trainer, and after eating, I also have to give myself couple of hours like one to two hours for the food to start digesting or for it to fully digest i don't know if it takes two hours to fully digest and then that's when i can put the trainer back on i usually put the trainer back on when i'm doing activities in the house and let me tell you if you haven't noticed it's working <laughs> it's working so i bought the waist trainer specifically to work out in it but I realized like if I am running errands, if I'm walking, if I'm doing any form of like physical activity, I can wear it and it will give me just extra, the extra kakituka dogo, kanongezea, kasosa. Yeah, so that's that's the progress. I I am yet to give you like a full progress on it, but yo. Mm -mm. I don't even think I took before measurements, but I think I've written, I wrote down my before measurements somewhere, or I did, I don't know. But let me tell you, I'll do a whole fitness video for you guys to tell you guys what I'm doing to kind of like get fit, get toned, uh, getting my body, eh? the body to be bodying, the body to be bodying. <laughs> going back to being a body because yo okay guys so this is the current situation of the house don't mind the boxes i just wanted to make the house accessible all the corners accessible so that i can be able to go around the house getting the house see everything is at the center I have space on both corners, so and access to the cabinet. So, whole point is that at least we are able to to fumigate all through. You see? <laughs> yeah. So that's the current situation. <laughs> <clears throat> so the only thing remaining is the kitchen and 
the bathroom. But I want to start having dinner early. It's around 5.30. Going to see. So I want to have early dinner so that I, can, I just finish up with everything in the kitchen and then move everything out of the kitchen so that I can start fumigating. Let me show you <coughs> the dawa that I got. Okay, so this is the insecticide, the dawa. It's called Dudu Max insecticide. It's, uh, so it's supposed to take care of a lot of things. <laughs> but yeah. So a lot of the age. So yeah. So there's that. I don't know if these are different types of roaches or what is this. So he tested it out for me. Here when they say one touch, one kill. I told him, Abu, just spray an ant on the road. There was a random ant on the road and then it worked. So I was like confident enough to buy it from him. And then I did come home and spray some, a couple of roaches. But then I realized, yo, I need to have uh, gloves for this because it kind of like burnt my hand. So I was like, yo, let me stop, get some gloves and then we'll do this the right way. So, square me fika. So, let me have dinner and then we do the fumigation. Okay, so I'm done warming my food. <laughs> Oops. And the food is here. It's beans and rice. And let me tell you about these beans, yo. Beans are made in coconut cream. So, so yummy. Like, I've found a new way to make coconut, I mean, to make beans that don't give you gas. I can't wait to make chapos with it and with curry rice. I wish I had some kachumbari, but, you know, we'll do better next time. But, you know, I've learned, like, coconut, coconut milk, coconut cream. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Okay, so let me go eat my dinner and then we can do some work in the evening, some fumigation. It's six something. <laughs> six something almost. The sun is almost going down. Anyway, let's eat. Let's eat. Karibu mm. dinner. Karibu. Karibu supper. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later. Okay, so the whole kitchen is cleaned out. <laughs> just time to wear my gloves and start going round and round spring every corner okay let's do that
unbox with me my valentine's day gift yes i got a three-in-one blender from mika as my valentine's day gift and i'm super super happy for that and before you start asking me nikon i'm poor and make a cost for like less than three months mind your business okay <laughs> so there you see the warranty and you saw the manual now we're getting into checking out the chopper i love this it looks like a food processor you can check it out it has that sharp blade inside and yes it looks like a mini shop mini food processor okay, so next is this part that makes the blender so special i'll show you guys later it's a sieve actually and then we get the mortar the heart and soul of the blender <laughs> It has setting 0 to 4 and also a pulse setting. And now we have the blender and the grinder inside the blender because that's the only way it would fit in that box. <laughs> yep. So, mm -hmm. so I open up the, I put the grinder on the side first and then we open up the blender. Now that's how it looks like a typical blender. Okay, the jug they say it's unbreakable, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> it has that sieve, block, and open uh, options. So yeah, that's my blender. I love it. It looks really sleek, really cool, and I can't wait to use it. And it can crush ice, guys. It can crush ice. So this is the grinder. It can grind nuts, coffee, beans, you know yeah so uh spices too yeah so that's my three in one blender comes in handy especially when i'm because i'm in the coast and you know making your own fresh juice is a vibe okay <laughs> so this is me putting in the sieve the correct way yeah and that's how you get all the pulp inside and the fresh juice outside love that for me because the other one was giving me a lot of headache <laughs> so this is my trilogy now let's test it out because i already washed the the all the three pieces of the blender right now i'm putting in fresh mangoes because you know coast and mangoes is like coast mangoes and coconuts the mistake i did was not hold the top if you don't hold the top the sieve part will just come out popping out and your pulp will mix with the juice so that's the mistake i made and don't be like me don't make the same mistake another thing i did was to uh put a lot of uh, fruit in between so like when you put fruit give the sieve at least some space for it to like the the pulp to like the fruit to move so that it can blend nicely so yeah this is my mango juice i'm super excited it's super concentrated if i wouldn't have added some water it would have been a hundred percent concentrated mango juice so this is how the pulp looks the sieve does a great job because it's really fine can you see that yes so yeah and this is my i'm just because my ocd will not allow i have to <laughs> have them on equal measure and this is how it looks super cool and yeah so guys i'm about to shoot a voiceover <laughs> already the tiktok that i shot before you saw the one in my previous vlog which did so so well so I'm shooting like the before like my putting in the brie because the takedown video was was did so well on tiktok so yeah the thing is when a video does so well on tiktok you need to piggy bank on it and uh piggy back on it <laughs> and um do replies so this is one of the replies that i'm thinking of doing another reply so 
that's the strategy for TikTok, a part of the strategy. Yeah, so let me shoot the voice over. You guys are going to see behind the scenes. I've found that in my vlogs, you're going to see a lot of behind the scenes, which is great because you guys don't get to see, right? So I have the mark attached, the video is ready to go. Just the voiceover that is remaining. And I wanted to upload it and then I, re I remember, oh my God, I haven't done the voiceover. So I, I'm, I look calm, but I'm in panic mode. So <laughs> let's just do this. I'm going to put you guys on time lapse. I'm to let them and Rome, which means a man and a woman in French. The woman's side is the salon and the nail bar, and the man's side is the barber shop. The vibes were vibing, and I was. Okay, my hair is so shiny, but I'm okay, 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 okay. So, I'm losing light. I'm seriously considering doing this tomorrow. <laughs> yes, because what the lighting 